you're using Laravel's has one or morph one relationship in conjunction with the latest of many or the oldest of many, there's a side effect that you should be aware of. And the, the side effect is uh, you might run into what you think is a bug, but it's not a bug. And allow me to, to go through this. So I have a user model that has a polymorphic table of licenses. And as you can imagine, a license can have different types of license, licenses. So you can have like a driver's license, a medical license, you know, in this case, a food license. You know, you get the idea. Well, as you'll see, I have my licenses relationship as a morph many. And then I decided to break down each of those license types into their own sort of relationship query. And you'll see here, like on the driver's license, we're going to morph one license, the latest of many. And then I'm going to, I'm trying to apply a scope on top of that to where it is to isolate it to only look at driver's licenses. And it's the same sort of scenario for medical license and food license. Well, we're going to go through the process of creating these records so I can show you what, what happens. So in this scenario, we first start off by truncating the records. We create a user. We're going to create three driver's licenses, three medical licenses, three food licenses. And when we're done, we're going to spit it out to the browser. So if we go to the browser and we run this, we get our user. But as you notice, remember, we called driver's license, medical license, and food license in our eager loading. But driver's license is null, medical license is null, but we have a food license. And and when I first run into this, I'm going, that's not, that's, that's got to be a bug. It's got to be a bug. And the way I, I kind of went about kind of looking at this is, well, what happens if I go in here and I just say, just give me driver's licenses? We run this again. You'll see then I get a driver's license. And so what's going on is that it's literally grabbing the last record in the database. Well, that's a problem because as an idea, you know, you can have a license that renews and you get a new license. Well, we need to have that information, track it over history, but only one we really care about is the latest one that there is. So the question then becomes, well, is why is this happening? And so when I went to explore this, I had it set to where I could die and dump my query. And so we're going to put this into my database tool. We'll have to replace the query I have in here. But we'll make it pretty. We'll line it up. And then there's two other data points that we have to put into the bindings. For this one, we're going to pass the user model uh, namespace and then the driver filter. So we're going to apply that here. Oops, I removed the double quote. And then I'm going to say driver. And as you'll see, it returns nothing. But when you first look at the query, like, okay, it's, it's looking for the, the highest ID because that's where we're trying to get to the last record. And I do see the, the filter of driver type, but why is this not working? And well, what the issue is, is that this is an aggregate query, okay? So when it goes through this process, it's not actually taking a, that driver uh, type into account when it's going through this process trying to find the max ID. And so what's happening is that we're applying a filter on the end, but the last record is not a type of driver, so it's not showing up. And then I'm like, I'm like, so I'm like, I'm like, do I have to change stuff now? And and so I got to looking at the docs, and I had to, I kind of had to read into this a little bit. And you know, you'll see the ones that talk about latest and many, oldest and many. But then you're going to see this one that says of many. And so the way that we solve this, and this is going to be sort of the example that we're going to use, what we have to do is pass it an array, which we're kind of telling it what to, which, which field to base it off of to grab the latest. So it could be an ID, it could be a timestamp, you kind of get an idea. But what's most important is that the second parameter we can pass into it is a closure. And this closure will allow us to tap into that scope that I once had, and it'll actually put it as part of the aggregate query. And so it's only taking that into account on the aggregation, and this is going to solve our problem. So allow me to uh, update some records or these uh, relationships. So remember, we have latest of many, and then the syntax is of many. 
And I'm just going to do it like this. So we have of many, which means I can take out the latest of many. And when I'm not really interested in trying to tell Laravel, you know, what sort of logic to use, and all I care about is just getting uh, to the record at hand. So this is where I'm going to go and say driver's license. And I'm going to do the same here for medical. And then I'm going to go do the same for food. And when we go to run this again, if we did done this right, we should have all three relationships loaded. And as you see, we get the latest uh, driver license, we get the latest medical license, and then the latest food license. And if we want to confirm this data, if we go to the table, and we kind of put this to the side and we look at the numbers. So it's, it's giving me the third driver's license. So that is the, the last one of the driver. Uh, the medical license is ID number six, which is the last of the medical. And then on the food, row nine is the last of the food licenses. And so this now solves the problem that I run into. But the thing is, the, the, the issue is that you're going to think naturally because most of the time with Laravel, you can add a, a scope on top of the relationship and it will work in most scenarios. But when you're working with this of many uh, sort of situation, you're going to need to know how to ad address this so that way your queries, queries work and you don't think that you're working with a bug. So if this video helps you, I encourage you to leave me a like, a comment, be sure to subscribe. And I look forward to teaching more about Laravel.